Deep in the hills of Edna, New Hampshire, lies a place known by many, but with a history that most are not familiar with. Behind Pierce's Inn lies a dormant ski hill that ran from the 1940s to the early 80s. While the trails are still there, the rope toe is no longer. To this day, there are remnants of the ski lift that stand as a reminder of what was once a busy little hill that taught many how to ski. In the past few years, a push to beat back growth has rekindled the spirit of Lord's Hill. This is the story of the family-run ski area where I grew up. Hi. <laughs> okay. Hit me with some questions. Am I supposed to look at you or look at the camera? I'm Xander. I'm Sadie Langenbach Pierce. My name is Cindy Pierce. I'm Bruce Langenbach. So I grew up here in Etna, New Hampshire. I grew up in Etna, New Hampshire. So I grew up here at Pierce's Inn. When I was six, my parents changed their whole life and moved from Connecticut up here and took over this inn, which also had a ski school with a rope toe in the backyard. We moved to the inn when I was two from the house up the hill. As long as I can remember, we've always been sledding. We've always got the, the skis out. I think I took my first turns down there. So skiing in the backyard here was very different than a ski area. The vibe is different. I think I always knew that the trails were really fun because we utilized them a lot. I'd say it's really special. We can just have a bunch of friends over. And even during the pandemic, we can have social distance skiing going on. And we can always have a spot that we can share with everyone. They're just having so much fun. And it's like, it's just, it seems like it's just a little more raw fun at the little area. Skiing and jumps. And then as the kids got older, the jumps got a little bit bigger and it got a little dicier. They're doing flips and, you know, you just cross your fingers when your kids are doing that stuff. But after ski racing, if there was good snow, we'd come home, we'd have jumps. We were the most well-rounded skiers on the team, usually, because we were hucking ourselves off here. I could go to a ski area today and be as confident as I am without the practice hitting jumps and uh, just like the athleticism it brought. What's really magical is when Coulter comes home from school, he and Bruce just like throw on their ski gear and tow each other up a few times, but it's really cool just how much it's utilized. There's nothing like going out on your own trails in your own backyard. You put your boots on in your own house, you walk out 10 feet, boom, you're at the bottom of the trail and you either walk up or you get a snowmobile ride. There's just something about having it right there. There's nothing like it. And one year Bruce was like, let's get an old beater snowmobile. He bought that thing and they tow people up two at a time. You can even bring three up, someone on the back. And that was magical to me. I love the tow concept of like the four wheeler or the, the snowmobile. Just so great, go anywhere. I think it's awesome. We never really skied the whole hill very often until we got the snowmobile. And that sort of was when I realized that, that this is a, a full on proper fun place to ski. I'm enjoying having the snowmobile and the quad pull us up. Cause it's fun to drive, it's fun to go up. And it's fun to ski down. I never really thought that the trails would be recut um, because we always heard about like the glory days of the the ski mountain, but I never pictured anyone would bother to do anything. It wasn't right away that I was interested in reclaiming them, but as everyone got out there and a little older and kids became assets as opposed to liabilities, we could really focus more on the ski trails. Over these last couple of years, it's been super cool to see him just get out, get after it. I think it's shining brighter than it ever has, actually. Bruce and Coulter have been chainsawing, and cutting down trees and um, clearing the trails. So the trails are coming back to their width. What do you hope to see happen in the future of the inn and the ski trail? In the future for the ski trails, I would love to see us put up another rope toe because I know that we could. I hope to see more mountain bike trails. I would say just keep on keeping on in the same direction that uh, it seems to be going right now. It's been, been awesome. You know, I, it's out of my range. It's, it'll be Coulter. I'll be getting that vision going. And, and he's had vision since he was a wee lad. So he'll probably get something going later in life.